y'all doing? This is Buck and Horse Dip here coming in from Colorado again. I haven't really got to get on in a while, make any videos or nothing like that. Been pretty busy. Started working cowboying down there at Beef Coal Feeders in Akron, small feed yard, running about 12,000 head right now. And just me and two other cowboys to ride the yard and dock calves and shit, so been pretty busy. When I went out, bought myself a a new sorrel filly, she's three, she's a cowy bitch, she fucking eats them alive. A nice and fast fucking quarter horse, cutting horse, and I like her a lot, and I'm gonna I'm make her, I'm gonna make her into a real fast cutting horse. She, she's quick now, but I'm gonna teach her how to control herself a little bit. We'll get her fucking working bank out. She'll probably sell her, she'll be a high dollar, yeah, eight grand or so by the time she's five, full grown. But pretty good, pretty good deal down there. Twelve hour days, six days a week, ten bucks an hour. Making good money, I guess. I'm right down there, probably end up buying a piss ton of horses again since I have the money to buy a shit ton of horses and sell them all. But uh, we'll see what happens there. I got another Bucky filly. She's four, she's down, she's got bank papers on her, she's a quick cow cutting son of a bitch too. Could get her started here pretty quick probably in the next couple months and get her in the feed yard. Uh, till then, you know, every day, Copenhagen's up about five bucks a can up there in Akron. Kind of pisses me off when I run out and have to get something there, but hell, it happens, you know, and I get over it. Well, take me a dip in my Copenhagen long cut here right now. The sexiest lady in Colorado, if you ask me. Sexiest can in Colorado just because it says Copenhagen long cut on it. So, if you're listening to my song, you know you're hearing Why Don't We Get Drunk by Jimmy Buffett. It's a good song for all you that like to get drunk and screw. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? You know, I like to. I got pretty fucked up last night up in Kingsburg after work and, and texting Tanner, Tan Man 20, 2013 or whatever he is. Y'all just know him as Tan Man, but texting his, his dumb ass at fucking midnight or whatever, all fucked up. Lost his shit in the corners. And, when you're drunk, them corn mazes, they're easy to get lost in. We walked around for an hour and then we found the entrance and we left through it. We, we weren't handling that deal so good. We were lost as fuck for over an hour. But it happened. Once again, it's a good deal. We've got another good song here 80 Proof Bottle of Tear Stopper by George Strait. That's a good song, too. I'll check in tonight. You listen to that old country. It's real country. It's a hell of a lot better than that fake shit, you know, they got going on today. That new country music, it ain't all that great, if you ask me, but that's personal opinion. Got on another cult today. One buck here now. He's got about 30 days on, but he's got glass on. He's a real goose fuck. He's a Finto gilding. He's got some power, nice body build to him. Fucker can buck. He's a bucking son of a bitch. When when we were, when I was starting him, he goosed on me pretty good. Day I got to ride him in two or three weeks. Elijah been riding him for me, but got him today. He goosed quite a bit and tried to get me off a couple times. Not real bronchy, but just kind of boogering and running and sidestepping and digging around. You know, jolting back and forth. I think yeah, I can I can make him into a pretty decent cutting horse. He just won't be cowy to do it in his own. You got to put him there, but whatever works, you know. He ain't papered, but fucking horse can't read, so the papers don't fucking matter if you ask me. That's just a bunch of bullshit. But uh, that's about all I got for y'all today. I I still haven't been too busy. Just worked 13 days in a row. Just got my first day off today, so I haven't had time to go make a video getting on some colts or nothing like that. But 
I'm sure eventually pretty soon we'll get on some colts and get some film out of it and make a true back and more stepper video for y'all. Watch how we get ready in Colorado and stick our saddles with we get down just about right, you know. But uh, that's about it for me. I'll be hitting you guys up later and keep on dipping. <laughs>